Hello folks and welcome back to Vintage Story. Last time we discovered the bombs are good, yo. The bombs are good, we got a lot of quartz from those bombs. A lot of that quartz is currently being smelted in here into glass. We're gonna use, we're gonna use make a, um, we're gonna make a, a greenhouse, or eventually we'll make several greenhouses. Um, that's for factory bricks, that's creating good. Um, it is winter. Things are getting cold in the morning. Getting a little bit of frost. A little bit of frost. Um, we got our cheese finishing up there in the in the cellar as well. So we'll go that and say we'll go to say hi to the cheese in a bit. Um, bowl. With the last bit of this red meat stew. Um, or my grain is probably, yeah, grain and my vegetables are lacking at the moment. We'll make more fruit pie, we'll make more vegetables pie in a bit. Vegetables pie. Right, how is the cheese coming along? Ah, it's, it's undone. Okay, so we have 50 liters of cottage cheese. Fresh for this long. I'm interested in... Right, so... Cheese making. Cheese making, right. So, use a piece of linen to remove the cottage cheese from the barrel. Place the bundle on the ground and add a stick. Twist the curd bundle until they are exposed and open the bundle. Add five salt. Okay, let's get salt. Oh, that's not where I want to put this. Go get some salt as well. I've got the sticks. I've got the sticks. Let's go get the salts. Get the salt. Get the linen. I wonder if I can use the cheesecloth. If you can reuse cheesecloth. Right, okay, so let's make some linen. Okay, that gives me, it says 25. It's 25 per. Put that down on the ground. Add a stick. Twist. All the uh, way. Okay, we have ourselves a curd bundle, which we have made into salted cheese. We got the linen back, okay. We got the linen back. I'm gonna wax, I'm gonna, okay we'll, put, okay, we'll put one cheese there. We'll ripen in zero hours. That's not entirely true, is it? Best effort there. I mean, we can grab the next one there, put that down there. Okay, let's get the stick back again. I was expecting to have to like click several times, but nope, that's fine. At which point we salt that. We do lose the stick, fair. We lose the stick, but we don't lose the linen. We don't actually lose the linen. Linen just comes back and as linen for us, we can use it for other reasons. Let's get the wax. I'm interested to see how long this is gonna take. Right, um, wax, cheese, waxed. That's only one. Yeah, there's only one. Um, store in a cellar, cellar shelf to ripen. Wow, come on. We have our cheese. Um, put that over there. Right, so... 20 days left to ripen. Really? Oh, which means I'll be back from my holidays by the time this is ripened. Okay, no, it's it's going. Like you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna grab some more shelves. Um, grab some more shelving units. Make some more shelving units there, specifically for cheese purposes. Give me that. That cheese, that can go back over there. Linen can go back over here. That was way less linen than I was expecting to use for that, by the way. But 
Lisa, how do you salt 25? You just waste the salt? I mean, it's one salt, sure. But you just waste the salt? I put two of them on the same... Okay, you can. So you can do up to eight in a single one. Okay. It says fresh for 58 days. I'm assuming that's fresh up to the point before it can't be... Again, what is fresh? <laughs> it's cheese. We're waiting for it to go off to a certain degree. Silence you. Um, sorry about that. Right. Okay. Wax can go back over here. Only one wax either. It's only one wax. Fair play, I guess, but still interesting. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. That can go back over there. The birch seeds, frankly, can just go over here. Um, let's just put the medium fertility soil back in the ground there. I should probably make like an ill area specifically for uh, pit kilns. But frankly, I can't open that up. I was going to open that up, but if I open that up, we're going to lose the pit kiln. I was open that up there to get the to get that rock back, but yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay. Um, let's have a quick gander, shall we? Which is quite the wrong word to use, considering we talk about chickens. Um, ten hours remaining for you, three hours remaining for you. Yeah, this one is not getting incubated as much. Right? Are we? Are we? Are we on? Have we had two? Okay, you are not pregnant. Oh. Oh wow. They've grown fast. Uh, they don't have generations, do they? No, pigs don't have generations. Actually, you're like, you're generation one. Huh. They've, they've grown very quickly. Okay, so if they haven't got a generation, they're dying. Yeah, oh, it's not... So you are... You don't have a generation, because you're generation one. You're a boar. You were a boar, but you're generation one boar, so that boar can die. Are we just going to do this? A little bit of time? If you're not pregnant and don't have a generation, you just become part of my food? Yeah. I think that's the case. If you don't have a, if you don't have a generation and you're not you're not pregnant, you're becoming part of my food right now. More fat. Okay, what about you? You got a generation. You don't have a generation. Make some meat pies or something, I don't know. Um, honestly, I can... Oh, whoops, that's not my intention at all. Uh, give me my medium fertility, thank you very much. Uh, boar generation one, generation one, generation one. Don't have a generation. You know what? Fine. The best way to keep the meat fresh is to not kill it, I guess. That's a, that's 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 a, that's, a, that's an aphorism for you. The best way to keep your meat fresh is to not kill it. Um, I'll put the uh, back over there. That's still going. That's still going. Six p.m. <sighs> Crack my neck. Um, twenty meats. We have twenty. Uh, put the eggs back in there. So we've got 20 meats. If I have 20 meats, make some pie dough. No. Oh, no. Dough is fine. Dough is fine. Dough just looks too much like pie. Um, give me 20 dough, which is enough for five pies. Um... Put that back there. Put that back there. Right. Start to make some time to start making some pie. Um, do I don't even want another table. You know what? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, wooden table doesn't matter what kind of table it is. Uh, wooden table is what? 
Is this? It is. That's five tables here. Bam. So, pi, 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 pi. Now. We have a bunch of meat to be made into pie, so we can go... Pie there. Pie there. Cover that, cover that. Then we'll get some onion. Pie there, pie there. That's going to be that and that. And then we're going to go grab the... Um, I'm gonna go grab eight cranberries from the basement to get a cranberry pie up and going. Eight cranberries from down here. I think eight cranberries is enough. What am I doing here? Yeah, it'll just take. It's going to take twenty days to ripen. Fine. What if can you eat cottage cheese in the game? There we go, that's that, and we're going to put that diagonal. So, meat pie, vegetable pie. Um, put the meat in there. Light that under there. Let's go one, two, three, one, two, three. And we'll actually do this on camera for a while. Just because, might as well, right? Get it done. Cook it up. Eat these pies up here. Bones. Again, there's no reason for bones right now. Too many bones. Um. Hmm. That's still cooking away. The glass is still cooking away. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Good thing we got the cheese. We'll see, if we, we'll see if the cheese begins. Well, the cheese production begins. The cheese ripening begins as well now. I'm not sure whether or not... Um... Again, it's probably one of those things that you want to keep the cycle going. That's what, that's what, that's, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to do, I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Tomorrow... On the next in game day, um, start seeing if I can collect more and more, more and more and more milk, because I think if we can, if we can, if we can harvest, if we can milk fifty liters of milk a day, right? If we can milk fifty liters of milk a day, which is, I guess, from what I can tell, it's not going to be persistent because it's it's debating to whether or not the cow is. Um, lactating and only lactates for so long, etc., etc., etc. We milk fifty liters of milk a day when the cows are in, are currently lactating, and then we turn that into cheese. Um, so we need like twenty barrels, I think, like something, because something, they lactate for like twenty days. Although uh, no, maybe we need four barrels because it takes three days to turn into cottage cheese, and then one day to turn into sorry, three days to curdle, and one day to turn into cottage cheese, and then you can free the barrel. So maybe four or five barrels, maybe, um, depending on how you stagger the milk. Which means you'll have two cheeses per day for twenty days, and by the time, if you, and then. If you manage to get them all pregnant at the same time as well, because pregnancy takes like 20 days, 20, 21 days, you can kind of do it so that when the last cheese is matured, you start the new lactation period, because they've just given birth again. I haven't actually sat down to look at this, but the, the, I think the times line up, don't they? If, 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 the, if, the, if, the, if the sheep lactate for 20 days-ish, and are pregnant for 20 days, and for 20 days you can get milk out of them and for the next 20 days the milk you made the milk you made on the first day will be just finished will be finishing its 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 fermentation in 24 days time give or take 
There's three for curdling, one for cottage, then another 20 for fermentation, so 24 days. And then you got 20 days of every day two cheeses coming up. And you can definitely see why a farmer gets very busy. And a farmer has like daily schedules. You can definitely see. Damn it, Nemo! <laughs> here I am chatting and um, not paying attention. I'm going to sit here just looking at the damn pies um, while, I make this, while I make these thoughts. But you know what I mean? Again, I'm asking questions and I want the answers, but I won't be able to act on those answers for a while. Um, but that's the that's what comes into my head, right? I mean, as far as I understand it, from what I remember, uh, gestation is like 20 or something, 20, 20, 21 days. If gestation is 20 to 21 days, that means that it kind of matches up with... And, and lactation... I don't think... I think lactation 20 days is a bit much. Maybe lactation is something like... It's between, it's between 14 and 20, right? I think. But I'm definitely interested in the idea. The potential is there. The potential is definitely there. Part baked. 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 But the potential is definitely let's just put these in this puts them straight in here to, to, to last longer. Every twenty days or so we make some pies. But I'm not, I'm not crazy, right? I'm not entirely crazy at least. And that means again, I have no idea how long uh cheese lasts for. Four slices. Uh, don't know how long, how much that is. Uh, raw cheese salted. After three, three, six hours of open storage. Three, three, six hours. That's not that long, is it? Three, three, six hours. That's that's not nineteen days. Is it nineteen days? Uh, calculator 336 divided by 24. It's 14 days. It's two weeks. Uh, done. Cooked. Don't overdo that. It's not. It's not 19 days. It's 14 days. Does that change it? Or are we still doing 19 days here? It still says 19 days. P36 hours of storage. Blue cheese. Yeah. Fresh. So they're, they're perishable for ages. That's fine. 1.7 years. Uh, waxed cheddar cheese. 3.3 years. It lasts forever. For a very long time. 336 three, hours. Uh, 24 hours a day. That's 14 days. Not 19 days. So I'm not sure what happened there. Um, but yeah, I think in the morning, it's currently 20 to 11, please finish baking. I know it's kind of 200 degrees, but 200 degrees should be another EQ. We'll have a, we'll have a nap, and then we'll try to, to harvest, to milk more tomorrow, and see if we can get this cycle going. We can get this cycle operating of more and more and more and more and more. And I'll constantly be on making cheese, and which means also need to keep an eye on 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 traders for halite because again, halite is not something I've got a lot of. Um, yeah, it's minus. It's the end of October. Next day, next end game day is going to be November, so we're going to be definitely inside this now. Um, pop that in there. Find that out. Find that out. Might as well get the block right. Might as well get a, get a stone block back. Shale stand, that's shale. That's shale rock. Um, we'll put the, the fire clay brick together with the other fire clay bricks. We can go cut all that down. I want to do that too. Uh, hey guys. Uh, sorry, I missed you there. 
seven hours of broody handling, broody, broody handness required. Hi, buddy. Um, right. Can be milked, may become aggressive. Nope. Is pregnant. Nope. 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 Ten. Um. That's 20. It progresses. Uh, it's pregnant, it's pregnant. Lactating can be milked. Empty. Cannot be milked. That was my bad. I kind of I forced the issue there. Yeah, I think I forced the issue on you as well. Damn it. I think 10 days. Pregnant generation 2, pregnant generation 2. Okay, but again. It's 7 days out in the open. 7 days out in the open, even though it is minus 1 out here. That milk should be freezing right now. Which is, again, horrible for milk. Okay, we are. Okay, the ice is. The ice is definitely freezing up here. We're definitely getting ice now. Noted. Noted. Okay. Uh, give me... Cut that down there. Cut that down there. Cut that down there. Good. Um, right. I want, four, I want 54, don't we? 54 is another... Like these are another 18, basically. And 18 is not gonna be difficult. It's gonna be difficult to make, so we're gonna go for I can do those two. And I can do Maybe not... Actually I can, can't I? I think. Go put that down there. There's a couple more fire bricks in there. Grab these fire bricks over here. Make three of these. Bam. Which means I'm gonna go and blast some more. Go blast some more um, quartz, I think. Go blast some more quartz. Uh, am I booted? Am I, uh, oops, put that bucket next back to the milk. But yeah, every morning, check cows for milk. And potentially get more barrels over here. Maybe even make a little mini cellar or something. Specifically for the purposes of... Um... Guys, just chill, okay? Come on. Um... I just need to pick up some more peat at some point as well. What was I going to grab? What was I going to grab? Um... Food. Um... Now we're doing grain. Grain's gonna be. I want to make some bread, to be fair. But I haven't cooked any bread, so vegetable pie it is. Onion pie. Onion pie on the table. Chop, 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 chop. I'll take that with us. And um, we'll go mine some more. How are we doing on the B front? Um, okay, the, the cardinals, the orthogonal ones are harvestable, and the diagonal ones are all populated. I wonder if that line break is just going to get fixed at some point. Um, okay. So was it, I need to make, I need to get... We get 24, we need to get 48, um, 48, 
um, quartz out of all this. So let's, let's dig a little, little bit deeper there. Put the quartz in there. How about that? Put the quartz in there. Bomb in there. Put the pig in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, pig. Um. Make sure we grab everything we can get our little hands on. I am actually tempted to put that bomb there and see what happens. Okay, buddy. We're gonna see what happens to you. What happens to you? There's gonna be a collapse there, I think. Yeah. A collapse. You are not dead. Did you take any damage whatsoever? You're not dead. And you're like... He took some damage. It took, it took less than I was expecting to have to kill you. But the fact that you're not dead by an orb blasting bomb going off right beside you is definitely impressive. Definitely? It's definitely impressive. Okay. I think we're occasionally, occasionally we pick up... Oh, it's sand, okay. This is a picture of picking up rock. Okay. Um. Thirty-four. Thirty-six. That's clear. I need to find black coal. That's what that this is what that's told me actually. I need to look into getting black coal. Because if black coal is required, I can't do it with charcoal, I need to do it with black coal, then I need to get myself some black coal. And we have not found much at all of black coal. Black coal is not something we've encountered a lot of. Um in any capacity. So you have to be a little bit careful here. A little bit careful. What this means is that if we get set up with our greenhouse, it means that over the winter we can grow um, carrots. You can't grow rice. Rice is impossible. Rice is already... You need to be... Three is the minimum temperature to grow rice because the greenhouse is an improvement of five degrees. But carrots go up to minus 10, which means we can go to minus 15 and still grow carrots, which means maybe not in the absolute depths of winter, but anything before that is probably fair game. 24, 24, 24 is 72. We're at 69 at the moment. Giggity. Um, there's probably enough. If I go back the house is probably enough leftovers there but we will still so that's what 60 that's 74 okay 74 of quartz I possibly think about uh, cutting down these birch to make more firewood to make more charcoal um so it might be the situation where like I turn one of these into a um into a greenhouse, plant carrots in there. When those carrots harvest, I take that down, make the next one over a bunch of, of um, then move the entire greenhouse over to make the thing. Um, now the inside of the greenhouse, as far as I understand, needs to be, from what I looked up, again, this is wiki, so it may be out of date, is the inside dimensions cannot exceed seven by seven by seven, but anything, that's not said by seven by seven beforehand counts. As long as it's not seven by seven by seven, we are golden. Okay, so that's quartz chunks in there. Boom, 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 boom. Grab the charcoal. I need 18 charcoal. Yeah, we definitely need to grab more charcoal. More chunks, but put, put that down for the next episode as well. And also, check for milk. Okay. 
until I get into the habit of doing this myself. Um, okay, light these up. Yeah, but I've not seen much black coal at all. I don't think anyone's offered to sell me black coal. The black coal we found was very briefly found. I think it was found, if I remember correctly, east of the mountains, like of, the, of um, those mountains over there. It was briefly to the east of those mountains, I think is where we found the black coal. But I know now to keep my eye out for black coal. If you find black coal, mine it. Because we can find saltpeter and we can find sulfur. Black coal is the... Is the, is the, is the problem with this equation. Okay, we'll put the glass there. And just chuck some stuff in here. don't care about that anymore. Put that salt in there. Put that over there. Right, so we'll put that back there. Bunch of bones. We can just grind those bones to make... How many carrots? How many? How many, how many, yeah, how many carrot seeds have I got? Wow, there's no wind today. Cool, fair enough. I was like, the coin is disconnected. He's like, no, it's not. It's just no wind today. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That goes over here. The clear quartz. We have fifty clear quartz. Good. Meat. There. Um. Let's chuck some stuff in the in the in the finger in there. The fat we can keep. For oil lamps. Um. Right. I guess we're just waiting at the moment. I think we're going to call the episode there. Um. We need more firewood in here. We need more firewood in here, we need more firewood out there, we need firewood everywhere. Um, seven. We put... Seven. Light this on fire. And I'll catch you all next time, folks. Let me think about the charcoal. And once the, once the glass is done, we will make our first... We will make our first one. We will also see hiding for carrots here. 17 carrots is not quite enough because we need, technically, we need um, 34. Um, no, 32. But, you know, because it's parsnips are also super resistant. It's, it's carrots and parsnips are super resistant, and they're both potassium. No, oh, you're a phosphorus crop and you have one parsnip seed, though, unfortunately. But we will see what we can do. If worse comes to the worst, we'll make a little, we'll make a very, a tiny um, greenhouse just for that until we can make enough carrot seeds to grow carrots during the winter. But that'll be next time, folks. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.